Hey, you are all welcome once again to my channel. You are welcome to Cartfish uh, Solution uh, Academy, where we teach you about uh, feed formulation. Presently, we are talking about feed formulation now, and we are still going through another copy on fish farming. We started this uh, channel once again in order to give trainings and lecture about fish farming to farmers. That means the nitty gritty of a fish farm, I mean, at ease for farmers. So we'll be talking, I'll be talking about all aspects of fish farming uh, uh, from this uh, channel now. We started it now, and as you know, we have our WhatsApp group, which we do free trainings for farmers. In there, you ask questions, and uh, we give you pure answers to your questions. Note, we are talking about A to Z about fish farming. We'll still be going to Ashley. For those of you who want to go into catfish ashtray we'll be talking about ashtray for those of you who want to be going to the grow house we'll be talking about grow out for those of you who want to go to the processing we'll be talking about processing for those of you who want to go to the marketing we'll be talking about the marketing for those of you who want to be going uh, we want to be doing the melange we're talking about the melange we understand that the cost of uh, feed materials uh, everything is high but the cost of uh, uh, the the cost the the cost of fish fish himself is not going higher is dropping but what you know is that in order to make profit on fish farming you need to know how to reduce your overhead that means your running cost that means your input in order to increase your output on how do you how can you increase your how can you reduce your input is by reducing working on your feed formulation most people are getting it wrong. Some people will come to breeder because I sell fish. I'm majorly presently a produ I produce a seedlings, and people. Some people will come to me that maybe they are buying juvenile. I told them to buy juvenile is forty naira, my juvenile is fifty naira, my juvenile is sixty naira, depending, and then they will tell me it's expensive that they have somebody that can sell a juvenile for them for twenty naira. Uh, they are pricing. They are pricing my juvenile low at twenty naira because they thought they can start cutting their cost from there. Sometimes I laugh. Why I laugh is that if you are cutting your cost from twenty naira, it's just only twenty naira. If you are buying one thousand piece of fishes, that is just only twenty thousand naira. And that one thousand piece of fishes presently, you are going to use nothing less than six hundred thousand to seven hundred thousand in feeding them to maybe five months. So let me now tell you the shocker. You are pricing low for just twenty thousand naira, and you are you, you are not thinking how to price low on your feed. And these feed producers are increasing their feed every day. Don't you think there's something wrong? To me, I have to tell you the truth. There's something great wrong. So if you can't, if you don't know how to cut your cost from the feed, and you thought cutting your feed. Uh, cutting your cost from the seedlings will help you. It will never help you. Because by the time you try to cut your cost from the seedlings, I bet you, you'll be giving what we call stunted fishes. You'll be giving last selected fishes that will not give you the required growth at that particular stage you wanted them. That's the truth. But if you are not pricing seedlings lower and you are getting a very good seedlings at a very good price, Maybe you are getting yours for 50 naira, just 1,000 is just 50,000, and you can cut your cost of feed to like 500,000 naira. Don't you think you are making more money? So this is what we'll be talking on this channel. Just to tell you, this is another intro to tell you the benefit of you listening, watching, and subscribing, and calling others to subscribe to this channel to learn more about feed Family. So, you guys that have not subscribed, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do that now. Make sure that you press uh, the subscription button, press the notification button, the like button, and share and try to invite people to watch this channel. Share it to your friends, share it to your family that you love, share it to those that are willing to join, to leave their pay job and start a business in Nigeria. I, I bet you. If you look at the present budget or any budget that the government is releasing, depending on how they are sorting it, agriculture is still going to be a milestone in this uh, country. Please don't lose out. So I told you that we have advantages of sinking feed is that prepare it yourself 
and you know the crude protein that is inside yourself and other uh, nutritional value that this can give you and you can alternate the material cheaper to other materials this add great advantage that producing this yourself can uh, do for you to get a better nutritional value for your fish at a cheaper price so these are the great advantage you can have uh, with this and if you are not a professional fish farmer fish farmer i will advise you to switch from floating feed that means if you want to go for local feed because i'm going to tell you about the benefit of a uh, sinking feed and local feed so if you don't want to if you are not a professional fish farmer don't give your fishes sinking feed from the start so you can switch from two months when they are eating 4 mm feed so you can switch from there catch as we know that catfish are mostly bottom feeders and they are very their nature is to feed from the base of the pond so that means conveniently they can feed on sinking feed no matter their age they will feed on sinking feed they like sink feeding on sinking feed but because we want to be really sure that is why we try to drag them up in order to feed up giving them floating feed at their very um, tender age is because of their fragility that means they are still small and uh, you don't want to stress them more you want to make sure that the heat so when they are small it is advisable to give them sinking feed that is why most of these crumbles are floating but note the shocker is that some of these crumbles through are sinking the lives of some copens that means the smaller copens are sinking as they are sinking uh, the the uh, the scratching some of the scratching are sinking so why because they tried to add some oily material because they know the advantage which i'll be telling you the advantage of sinking feed so that means you are still going to enjoy a lot of benefit from this channel so i will advise you to subscribe to this channel i will advise you to like and share and invite people to join this uh, great channel so one of the uh, advantage i said one again for feed for floating feed is to allow you to see if your fishes are truly feeding or not uh, this will save you from overfeeding especially if you are a newbie that means if you are starting fish if you don't really know the integrity of fish farming with no technical knowledge that means you don't know anything about fish farming overfeeding will congest your water and uh, by the end of the day kill your fishes leading to high mortality uh, deter your fish from going and many more factors may arise from overfeeding and i don't think you will want to exercise that patient for your fishes to be dying drastically so from there we'll be moving on to the feed i told you about different sizes of feed and knowing your feed at any recommended stage is very very important knowing the sizes that means the cp that you'll be giving your fish at a very recommended that, that means at a recommended stage that means at the required stage we have the sizes of cp you don't just give your feed any kind your fishes any kind of uh, feed you give them required percentage of crude protein at any given stage so all these will be i'll be giving you a table uh, now on presently on the recommended uh, feed size for your fishes at uh, from fingerlings from fingerlings if you are the lies that are collecting fingerlings fingerlings are uh, are from three to four grams and uh, that means they are from uh, they are from five to six mm uh, centimeter long and uh, they eat uh, you can they eat 1.5 uh, yeah your feed you eat 1.5 1 mm depending on the sizes that means sometimes sometimes you can get it from 0 0.8 to 1.2 so that is the stages of feed the heat and let's proceed to because of our time we produce we proceed to post fingerlings 
Phosphine gallons are four to six grams, which are six to seven centimeter, and they heat 1.8. So 1.8, 1.5, 1.2, depending on the producers. And we move up to what we call the juvenile fish. The juvenile fish are six to ten grams of sizes. You know, fishes does not have the same sizes. They are not equal like our fingers. So you need to alternate their sizes. And they are from uh, nine to ten centimeter and which they feed with two mm. So you know two mm do you have different kind of stages. We have the smaller two mm, but basically most of our producers now produces two sizes in an mm. That means they produce two mm, lesser than two mm, three sizes, lesser than two mm, the main two mm, and they produce 2.5 or 3 mm. So all are mixed in some of the uh, feed that a lot of the producers feed now. So this will allow the small ones, because they are on stage ranges, this will allow the small ones to feed equally as the big one fed. So that is how they do that. I think that's a perfect uh, uh, job. I don't know who gave them that idea. That idea is perfect because you because you don't need to mix uh, feed. You don't need to mix 2 mm with 1.5 or 1.8 to give your fishes. Everything is uh, in the pack. I can see the likes of Alam that does that. I see the likes of um, uh, Alakwa that does that in some of their product and then um, and I notice that uh, the sizes of Copens is perfect mm -hmm. for 2mm. That means even your post fingerlings will eat conveniently. And the likes of um, what we call the, I think the, the Alakwa, yeah, they are doing a very great job. So again, you now go to what we call your post juvenile, which we normally know as Jumbo. That is 10 to 50 grams in size. And uh, the size ranges from 10 centimeter to 14 centimeter, depending <laughs> if you are not going to melange, yeah. So, and they fed with uh, three mm. So, that uh, that from this, I will stop for now and we'll continue this uh, video uh, next week as you were watching. And uh, make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I told you once again, you are watching Catfish uh, Solution Academy where we give you in depth uh, uh, information about catfish farming. We release good videos to you, we release good teachings and coaching to you about fish farming you can also consult us on virtually what we do we do mentorship we mentor you on fish farming we give you training we give you guide we construct pond we uh, tell you what to do we we'll test your water we have a lot of materials available we sell for your hatchery and so on and we have the likes of uh, the we we have the likes of the we have a lot of books available that you can buy and read and be your own professional in fish farming. So once again, I will continue next week. My name once again still remain. And note, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do that now because this channel is going to be more stronger. We are waxing it stronger very soon so that make sure you subscribe because we are going to talk about virtually all the topics about fish farming. So make sure that you watch and stay tuned to that. So once again, my name is Tillyman Odutola Isabio Odutisem, your great uncle on this channel. Thank you and God bless you all.